as of this moment, half of the seafood in the world no longer comes from wild oceans and rivers, but from a fish farm. This is not only salmon, but hundreds of other fish which are now farmed, and the number of fish farms continue to rise exponentially. So what? So lots of things. Fish farming corporations hide the inconvenient truths about how they raise their fish and what they're fed, and the dangers that aquaculture brings not only to wild fish who share the same seas as their contaminated brothers, but also to we humans who unknowingly buy and consume farm fish. Let's start here. Farm salmon and all other farmed fish spread diseases that they carry to the population of our wild fish. How? Well, farm fish continued to break through barriers erected to contain them, threatening the wild fish gene pool and spreading biopollution that literally is irreversible. Now, Norway has the greatest concentration of fish farms in the world. The Norwegian Health Department recently issued a warning to their population that they should not eat too much farmed fish, particularly farmed salmon. Dr. Anne Lies Birch Monson from the University of Bergen is outspoken about the high level of contaminants present in farm raised fish. Contaminants that build up in farmed fish then spread environmental pollution into the waters surrounding the fish farms, cause damage to wild fish in the waters nearby. Six years ago, Russia banned Norwegian farmed salmon from sale because it contains large amounts of cadmium, and lead. These heavy metals and other poisonous substances come from the feed farmed fish are given. They flood into the seas, contaminating the waters where our wild fish live. Wild-caught Alaskan salmon, who for millennia have swum in our rivers and seas, have thrived on what Mother Nature provided them with namely healthy fats and micronutrients and vitamins and antioxidants, including natural astaxanthin. And when it comes to wild salmon, it is this astaxanthin that turns the wild salmon's flesh its beautiful red color and helps keep them healthy and us healthy when we eat them. For years, ecologists have been warning people to stay away from farm salmon and the carnivorous fish meal filled with junk materials that are full of it. This includes oil of anchovies, which carries polychlorinated biphenols, known as PCBs. These and other toxic chemicals pollute not only the farm fish, but our own bodies when we eat them. In addition, viruses, parasites, banned chemicals, and antibiotics, they carry dangerous consequences both for us and, of course, for the natural marine species, which still do inhabit our oceans. Now, wild salmon are the vegetarians of the sea. They eat only plankton, krill, and algae. Near the end of their lives, they are ready to make their perilous way upstream, returning to the place of their birth to spawn and die. They will have spent all but this final 5% of their lives in the freedom of the open ocean. Yet as of now, an astounding 99% of farmed salmon are pinned and held within rivers that wild salmon have to swim up from their open ocean to lay their eggs and spawn. Excess fish farm feeds float into the water surrounding the farm. As well as genetically engineered ingredients, farm feeds also contain antibiotics and chemical additives, pesticides, and feces from the farmed fish that massively contaminate wild salmon and other fish in our waters surrounding the farms. Farmed fish are notorious for carrying diseases and spreading them. But... Ask an aquaculturalist about this, and he will tell you nothing. When I contacted some well-known fish farms, requesting that they provide me with the list of the ingredients in their fish foods, every single one of them refused. One kind man, who shall remain nameless, dared to whisper the truth, and I quote, It has to be kept hush-hush, he said. If the public knew what they were eating, they would stop buying farm fish altogether. End of quote. How do you know that you are buying real fish, including wild salmon? 
Well, I'll tell you something, it's not easy. Half of the salmon available in the United States now, twice that much in the UK, and virtually all the salmon sold in New Zealand is farmed, not wild. There's a tremendous amount of mislabeling taking place in stores. More than 80% of what is labeled wild is in truth farmed. In Time magazine, they did some research and discovered last year that more than, and I quote, 2,500 tons of the food eaten in the United States is fake, unquote. Meanwhile, 30% of shrimp presented as wild are actually farmed, and 87% of fish labeled snapper are something else. What's worse, the deception continues to grow.